Just hours to go before the Big Apple says a big thanks to the city's essential workers. A ticker tape parade honoring the people who helped us get through the pandemic kicks off at 11 this morning. CBS News' John Diaz is in Lower Manhattan live for us this morning with more. Hi, John. Good morning to both of you. Yeah, well, exciting day here in Lower Manhattan. We're told about 2,500 people will be participating in this hometown hero uh, ticker tape parade with a total of 13 marching bands. Again, an exciting day here. Today, it's all about those who helped hold New York through the pandemic. While even a parade may not be grand enough to honor these hometown heroes, it's a start. I'm so grateful. It it, it feels like we're getting a big hug all over again from the entire city. Sandra Lindsay made history as the first to get the vaccine in the U.S. The Queen's nurse will lead the parade as the Grand Marshal. Police barricades are already up along the route, like the start of the parade at Battery Place and West Street. Along the Canyon of Heroes, we've honored athletes, astronauts, military members, and foreign leaders. Today, the city will add essential workers to that list, like the director of the cardiac ICU at Mount Sinai. A year of great darkness and then a year of hope. What are the triumphs that you like to think about? The development of vaccines to the development of monoclonal antibodies. The employees at Bond Parade Floats in Clifton, New Jersey, have been carefully assembling the 14 platforms that will carry frontline workers along the route. The company has played a part in 13 ticker tape parades. This one has extra meaning. These are real life heroes who save lives, um, put their lives on the line. Tuesday, the mayor canceled the ceremony at City Hall Plaza. He says to keep New Yorkers safe from the heat. The city is adding water along the way with cooling stations available for participants. We're told the mayor will march with hospital workers, health care, child care, transportation, food, and utility workers, among others, will follow, each critical in leading us through the crisis. We need electricity to keep the ventilators running in the hospital, to keep the, the uh, you know the, the lights on in homes and businesses. And our workers came into you know they were behind behind this effort, and I'm so proud to be a part of them. Now, the city is reminding that there will be several road closures already. We can tell you that traffic is starting to build up down here because of all the barricades that they have um, set up down here. Now, if you want to see this parade up close, you don't need a ticket or need to register or anything like that. You can just come on down to Broadway between Battery Park and City Hall. And, of course, don't forget to uh, cheer them on. They really deserve every cheer they could get. We're live this morning from Lower Manhattan. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, John, thank you so much. 604. And we will have complete coverage of the Hometown Heroes Parade beginning at 11 a.m. You can find it right here on CBS 2, streaming on CBSN New York and on our website, cbsnewyork.com. And we want to highlight your Hometown Heroes during our coverage of the parade. Whether it's a picture of your hero working during the pandemic or celebrating along the parade route, send it to us. Use the hashtag MyHometownHero and tag CBS New York, and it could be featured on the air. And a programming you note know, for today, due to parade coverage, the price is right, young and the restless, bold and the beautiful, and the tall. Will not be seen on CBS2. They can be found on WLNY TV 1055 at their normal times. And